You saw how they connected these three locations, showing you that these three obelisks were aligned and connecting, showing them like referencing Orion. I went into Grand Central Station and showed the Orion, the reverse on the ceiling, just so I could mention how the Orion and the constellations on the millennia floor, just the opposite. People walk through oblivious to what it is. As I mentioned, it was a Stargate showing the three posts, showing the sunrise, high noon, sunset. And the sun disk itself. Now, it may seem impossible to people because somebody would have to have the idea and how could somebody do something without knowing they're doing it in that way. Well, it doesn't make a difference, but it is. That's what it shows. So, as you can see here, I marked off these locations, different locations. So, I said I grew up in New York, Long Island, Commander Avenue, and how all this was connected to me going back to New York, 1996 and then 2014, when I went to go see the obelisk here. It said I was connected to it then, before this here. So now that I mentioned all the things while I was there about the Orion. Washington, D.C., Commander Avenue, Stargate. Now I'll show you here. Back to where Commander Avenue, where I grew up. I lived in a White House. Here. This was my bedroom. The dormer. Which I can show you these dormers here on the Sun Trust. They just sit like they're decorations, but I know why they're sitting there. They're not air vents, they're just outside. And when I saw them, they reminded me of this room where the beans would come in. They looked like x rays, they didn't look like solid beans, they were x ray same way you look at an x-ray, it doesn't glow, but you can see the difference, like the bone. That's the way they looked. Two of them. And my bed was right here. Next to the window. And then the room, the door, would be here, where they would stand. So, this house here was built by my great-grandfather back in 1952. My mother always told me the story about how they moved from New York City and why they moved from New York City and built this house on the weekends. So this wasn't a house that was built by a builder. My great-grandfather was a builder. And when they moved here, there were very few houses in this neighborhood. And it was called Washington Avenue. And as you look here, call it the Four Blocks. You'll see here, it's a triangle shape. And it said straight path. And over here is called five corners, like five stars. This is a graveyard here that always had woods. I always thought there was some mystery to it because it was always full of woods. And the old rumor was there were wild dogs in there, which nobody ever saw them. But that was what we talked about as we walked to the corner store here. So here you can see that the house, White House, Commander Avenue, called Washington Avenue before. All the other streets, Gordon Avenue, Matthews Avenue, Hamlin Avenue, names this one's the only one named that was changed from Washington Avenue to Commander Avenue. 
that you can go from Washington to Commander as being the same. Washington, D.C. with a Commander-in-Chief, Commander itself. And my mother told me and my aunt told me that when they came here one day, the name was changed, the street numbers were off, were changed from what they were left the house with that day. They thought they were on the wrong street. They were never notified that they were changing the street. And so that answered one of the mysteries when I was talking about this area and how this was connected. And like I said, when I went to New York, and I went to the obelisk and I knew that I was connected going back to my childhood. But this is West Babylon. We talked about King Tut, Moses. This is dealing with Tutmosis the third. And this is what happened here. This was the connection. So now I show you, if I show you here, the connection by drawing a line from each one. That's one line from Central Park. That's another line from the Worth. Now we back up, come down here. We'll see that the line itself, which this one here, Point to my bedroom. They only seen the cross here, but they could be straight as you can coming from the distance here. But they all come exactly without crossing itself from each obelisk. Showing you here, going back to this layout. Commander Avenue. Inside this layout of four blocks. In an area called West Babylon. This area was actually Windange. Going back to the Montauk chief, Windange, whose daughter was kidnapped and for ransom in exchange for helping him get her daughter, his daughter back. They, he gave up and signed off this land. And this is why he was considered uh, a bad or traitor to the, to the rest of the tribe because of what he did without consulting anybody else. So this area now, Windinch, is a predominantly black area. But because of school and busing, we were bused from here over here. But this would all be Windinch. I mean, it would all be Montauk land, which it really should be, which it is, but this is what happens. So here we got the same layout connecting the three obelisks, the same way I can show you the connection between Orion and where I'm at now in Orlando. So here it is, just as I mentioned, why? George Washington, Commander Avenue. Now we're dealing with all three, something dealing with military, Commander Avenue. How is this a coincidence? It's not over here, it's not over here. It's not back here. It's not anywhere else but right here where the center one comes exactly. But here it is again. I can connect the obelisk from Central Park 
to here. And like I said, I used to go to West 90th here, come through here. This was a block my aunt lived on, a four-story building here. And the horses used to walk down, and you could hear them walking down the street with their shoes clocking against the pavement, and the riders with their high black boots. And we'd watch them until we couldn't see them, and they'd cross over coming into the park, and we would walk from here all the way through park itself. There was nothing to go from here, walking from there to this obelisk. Even as a child, walking the dog, Lucky, the German Shepherd, it was nothing to walk from there around here and just walk up along the side of the museum. In our school, we used to come here for field trips.